to love it. Uh, we wanted to take a little bit deeper dive into our cover athlete, his background, his roots, and how he okay. came to be such an amazing human being and person and baseball player. So here's Rod to reveal. They really put the Bartolo on the cover. Oh my, oh my Lord. They put Bartolo on the cover. Welcome everybody. Big Poppy. We are in the Dominican Republic in the middle of nowhere. Probably Jose Ramirez then, right? We got I'd assume Jose Martin Ramirez. And beautiful people. I guess it already. And we are about to I It go is Jose right here, Ramirez. I'm about to show you what's going to happen. Uh, for 2024, it's, uh, it's something amazing. Oh, and my I, God. It's Vlad. It's Vlad. Okay? Yeah, it's man. Vlad. The fool's what? Amazing. That, that's that's out of nowhere. What? In the world. Mm. In the why did, why would you tweet it? Vladimir like Guerrero you know, Jr. Well. is the cover. MLB is always taking care of business. Wow. Oh, okay. Sorry, David Ortiz. That took me by complete surprise. Vladdy Jr. shushing the doubters. I, I love the art. I, I got to say, that looks beautiful. I love the color popping right there, the Dominican flag integration. It looks really good. It looks really good. I will say it till my dying days. Madden, EA, you people who are pushing this minimalistic trend where being lazy is a feature, <laughs> you got to stop it. Do something artistic. Eh? That is really good stuff. I got to admit, it's completely out of left field. Or Vlad at first, it's completely out of first base. Seeing Vladimir Guerrero, I mean, thankfully, I usually have my phone silent at this point. I wouldn't even saw it. You guys would have told me in the chat. But what do you guys think? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on the cover of MLB The Show 24. Now, there is still the possibility that we do see a Legend Edition cover that it's somebody else as well. You know how shocked it would have been if, like, Vlad Jr. would have just appeared on the screen? <laughs> Be like, why is, he, why is he in there? They just find him on the side of the road? Blue Jays didn't want to give him the contract extensions. Or they're like, oh, okay. Guess they got to make a living somehow. Wow, that is extremely surprising, but really cool. So that's the big news. Vladdy's on the cover, and we did find out a little bit more. Ah, the game will be on Game Pass as well. You kind of figured that was going to be the case, but Xbox confirming once again that MLB's got a strong arm on Sony, so they're going to have to keep it there. So if you got an Xbox, I mean, you get the game for free. So that's a pretty damn good deal, as always. I also got to say, really happy to see Vlad Guerrero, Papa Vlad, being on the commercials as well. That's super cool. So the game will be on Xbox Game Pass again. And here's a showcase of all the game boxes. You see it on the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, and the Nintendo Switch. And that's been confirmed it will be on the last generation consoles, the PS4, the Xbox One. I th think a better name is Microsoft. Um, so it will be on last gen as well. There's no telling if there's going to be separate versions of the game, kind of like they have with NBA 2K, where it is upgraded for the newer consoles. We don't know. There is people speculating with stuff like this, the $10 digital upgrade to next gen, which I don't think that they had that previously, but it is also a nice, just quality thing to offer. You know, if you were to get one of the newer consoles, you can get the newer version of the game, which at bare minimum has better graphics. So it could be just based off that, or maybe they do put in other modes. Like we've seen the custom stadium builder that is only accessible to the PS5 and Xbox Series X versions of MLB The Show. Okay, we're finally able to get in here on the show's website so you can see uh, not much. There's no edition set. It has been confirmed it's the 6th of February, so next week is when they're going to announce the collector's edition of MLB 24, which you can go and expect is probably somebody different. So if it pains you so much, Yankee fans, to see Vlad Guerrero gracing the cover of your blessed game, uh, there's probably going to be somebody else. It probably will be a Yankee because, you know, they put in New Legends. They have to play for the Yankees. They don't put New Legends for any other team. But the team in pinstripes. Oh, can we get through? <laughs> 
yeah, if you want to buy MLB 23, again, there you go. You can do that. They don't even, they don't even have it. So if you do digital current gen standard, will that come up? No. So I don't think you can even buy the game right now. I don't know why they have the pre-order information out there then. But you see the release date on the 19th of March, and that is for the wide release. That's a Tuesday. Uh, for MLB The Show, what usually happens is the game comes out on early access if you buy the digital deluxe, and that's usually the Friday previous. So I would guess the 15th of March, Pi Day, is going to be the early access launch for MLB The Show 24. I was going to say something, how that's fitting for Vladimir Guerrero Jr., but that's not very nice, and that's one of my New Year's resolutions, is to be a better person. So I, I didn't even make the joke. But, yeah, I mean, that's a good bit of information that we've learned right there, the release date when the collector's edition is going to be out, so you can actually see more stuff, because as it sits, we don't really know anything about the game other than who's on the cover, I'll make a full video talking about some things that we have heard through the grapevine in the next couple of days here. Uh, but we do have the reveal schedule. The collector's edition on the 6th of February, the first feature premiere on the 15th, all leading up to the launch date on the 19th. So, yeah, we don't, again, know too much about what any of these are going to entail. You could assume some are based on gameplay, some are based on Diamond Dynasty, but they haven't quite revealed them yet. They can never make it too easy on us. Also pretty cool how it comes full circle. Now this was the last year before MLB The Show became a thing. It was made by the same people. 989 Sports became Sony San Diego. But uh, yeah, you know, what was that 18, I'm terrible at math, 18 years later? And now Vladdy's son graces the cover of the premier baseball video game. And as it sits, this is all we know about pre-order information. If you pre-order the standard edition, you're going to get 5,000 stubs and five the show packs. So uh, not telling too much. They are lock and key on a fair amount of stuff, but look forward to a video where we will talk about some things that we do know about MLB The Show 24. So let me know again in the comments section how you guys feel about, well, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. being the cover athlete for MLB The Show 24. Are you happy to see him? Do you think it should have been somebody else? Again, I got to reiterate, I am just extremely surprised. I think it's a good choice. I will say I think they might have wanted to pick the, uh, the picture uh, of Vladimir Guerrero getting picked off, of C4 swiping the tag down on him, and proverbially, proverb, ending the Blue Jays season, damn it. Uh, that would have been a little nice to see. Maybe that'll be the collector's edition cover. I would collect that cover, but... Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new for a lot more MLB The Show coming soon. Thank you for watching.